Last night, I watched Saving Bikini Bottom, a Sandy Cheeks movie. It was very, 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 very bad. Normally, I, I actually enjoy Spongebob movies. Like, I really enjoyed the first three, but... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. No, this... No. Saving Bikini Bottom. I'm just gonna call it the Sandy Cheeks movie. The Sandy Cheeks movie just doesn't land well with me for me. Um... My favorite SpongeBob movie were the were the two D ones, especially Sponge Out of Water. Call me crazy, but it's true. I really enjoyed the first SpongeBob movie as well. I thought that was really really fun to watch. I thought that was really good. I also kind of liked um, Sponge Out of Water. Call me crazy again, but that movie was good. I really liked the animation style in that one. But I feel like ever since that film dropped, SpongeBob started. To sort of go downhill for me at least because we've over the years because that movie came out in 2020 so and now we're in 2024 so that was four years ago and we've gotten like we've only gotten one spongebob movie from that period and that was this piece of dog shit that i'm reviewing this video and I will literally, I have a really, really, really good reason why I hate this film. And many other people do. And I honestly, oh my gosh. So, for those who have seen Sponge Out of Water, the animation, if you might remember, was really, really good. I really enjoyed the CGI in that film. I thought it was really cool. And, um, yeah, basically, it was just, it was just really, really fun to watch. I mean, it was gonna come out of cinema, but because of the pandemic, it ended up releasing on Netflix, but that's fine. I still got to enjoy it. I still got to watch it. I still had fun watching it. And, uh, I just wish I could have seen him on the big screen, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that movie, what kind of saved it was the CGI animation. It kind of blended in a little bit. Call me crazy again for the third time in this video. But it kind of, for me, kind of blended in with like other animation movies. Like kind of sort of uh, the Spider-Verse um, films. And um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle film that came out last year. Like those movies are known for having excellent pure class animation. I feel like that movie kind of also felt... Um, went in that category with um really good animation. And um something I really enjoyed about that movie that it wasn't really they didn't go out of the water because they did that in the first two movies and it was fine. It was it's it was cool. It was fun. But I really enjoyed that they didn't do that with Sponge Out of Water, so yeah. And um it was just completely CGI and they didn't, you know, hybrid it. Oh, but oh boy, I'm gonna stop talking about how much I like this film and how much I hate new film. Sandy Cheeks Saving Bikini Bottom. Okay. Oh, or I'm just gonna call it the Sandy Cheeks movie like I said before. This movie is actual piece of dog shit. And I am going to say a lot of, a lot, and I mean a lot of spoilers. So, yeah. I mean, not a lot of spoilers. Mm, kind of bad spoilers. If you haven't seen this film, I highly recommend you don't watch it because you're going to waste your time like I did. And if you have, I don't care. Do whatever you want. But if you haven't seen this film and you want to watch it, and or you're going to watch it, don't, don't. Click off this video right now, okay? Just click. I said don't click off. Click off the video if you have not watched the Sandy Cheeks film, and you are going to watch it. Or you want to watch it, okay? That's literally my best advice for you. Okay, so let's get into this film review for real. So the movie starts off with um, crappy animation, I'd say. Like, bro, can I... 
How is this a movie? Like, bro, this looks like some sort of freaking... This doesn't even feel like a Netflix movie, man. It feels like one of those, um... Nintendo... No, not Nintendo. What the hell am I yapping about? Nickelodeon film reviews. Like, no, films that you put on, I think, Nicktoons or something. On, like, Saturday mornings. That's how bad the animation looks like. And it starts off with sandy cheeks, yapping and stuff. I, I can't even remember so many stuff because it's going to be so bad. And she, um... And then this robot horse comes along. I I really don't like him. I I don't even know why he's in the movie. Like, he has no importance to the plot or anything at all. Like, at all. Um, I don't know why he's in this film. Um, but then Sandy Cheeks starts singing a song, which literally is the most dog shit mu song I've ever heard. And then it's basically about how much she loves Bikini Bottom and how much she wants to stay there and stuff. And how much she loves her friends and, and things. And um and here in this in the in the song scene we really get to see how bad the animation really is. Because then SpongeBob and Patrick and the others kinda tag along and they just start dancing and stuff. Oh, my god, it looks terrible. It genuinely looks like... I don't even know how to describe it, man. It looks horrible. And basically, after that atrocious um song scene, which I think is only like a minute long, the main plot starts right away. Like, bro, there's another thing I hate with this movie. It feels like it was rushed. It, it genuinely feels like it was rushed. Like, it it low-key feels like um they had to just make something of a Spongebob film. And um the producer said, come on, let's do it now. And the other one was like, oh, okay. <laughs> just typing some stuff. I don't know how they make my films. I mean, I mean, I know how, to, how I make my movies. I make them on Kafka, but yeah. They're a little budget, I know. Um, nah, I'm basically... Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, right. Um, they basically sort of just get in like a claw machine. It goes down on Bikini Bottom. It scoops it up. And they want to transport it to this water park of some sort. And, um, I know that is very, very dumb and stupid, like. Bro, a water park. Okay, it is. Um, and then Sandy Cheeks and SpongeBob are the only ones. And also that robot horse. Sandy, SpongeBob, and that horse, the robot horse, are the only ones that, like, weren't abducted, sort of. And, uh, basically, they go to Texas... Yeah, Texas, to to save Bikini Bottom because apparently that's where this ancient, I say ancient, old organization that Sandy used to work for before she became a scientist in Bikini Bottom. She used to work for this organization called Boot, and um, uh, <laughs> uh yeah, she so she basically finds out that Boots or Boot is taking Bikini Bottom for their own use. Very, very stupid, I know. So Sandy and SpongeBob, thank God that horse doesn't come with them, bro. I'm so happy he doesn't. I'm yeah. They so Sandy and Sandy and SpongeBob go out and uh they basically set out on an adventure to save Bikini Bottom. And um Basically, uh, sorry, guys. Um, oh my god. Uh, so, Sandy and SpongeBob run into this, these like snakes. These snakes, yeah, snakes in Texas. I mean, I've never been to Texas, I've never even been to America, I've never even been out of Europe before, but yeah, I never knew there were snakes in Texas. Uh, so they run into these snakes who have hats and mustaches. 
and then they die. Well, they have it's like a funny fight scene, funny, crappy fight scene, um, with Sandy and SpongeBob and the snakes, and then they're about to die, Sandy and SpongeBob, and um, one of the snakes turns Sandy into queso, and then they get rescued by Sandy's family. Sandy's family, who are just amount of um unimportant and forgettable as Sandy herself in this film, which I guess I kind of did like her character a little bit. I think she's the only good, decent person in the whole film. In the entire movie, it was actually you know like, kind of kind of good. Uh, other than that, all the other characters are dog shit. Like bro, and. I'm going to pause the review here. Spongebob is the most annoying piece of shit that this movie could ever have. Oh my god, bro. Oh my gosh. Spongebob is so annoying in this film. So, so, so annoying. I wish. I wish they could have just made him... Classic Spongebob, right? Like, like the one we all know and love. Nah, 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 nah. This one, this one goes to, goes out to, to tickle people's feet. He actually does that in the whole film. He goes out to tickle people's feet in the, in a swimming pool at the water park. Bro. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even have like nails though. Anyways, um, so the Sandy Cheeks family saves Sandy and Spongebob, and, um, meanwhile, in Bikini Bottom, they are in this high-tech prison with, um, with, like, water park prison, I guess, and, um, they get abducted by these two scientists, which, these are the most... Lazy, unemployed, unemployed, what the hell is that? No, that doesn't fit. Lazy actors I have ever seen in a movie, bro. It feels like they're getting held at gunpoint. It genuinely feels like they're getting held at gunpoint off screen. To do these shots for this movie. It feels like they're getting forced to do this. And I don't like that. I mean, it doesn't even feel like they even they even try at all. No, they don't. They don't even try to, to do it. They're just kind of, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want those SpongeBob in here. Give me a SpongeBob. Like, bro. The most laid-back, lazy actors I've ever seen. How can you even call that acting, bro? How could you even call that acting? Like, no. Just no. 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 It's not even, it's not even top class, bro. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, basically... Then their boss steps in, which is by far the worst character in this entire film. The worst villain I've ever seen, yeah. I don't even remember her name now, but she's so weird. Okay, so for some reason, she has this big blob fish, kind of like this big, probably bigger than me. And um, he's orange and he's very ugly. He's atrocious. She kisses him on the lips. Like that isn't weird at all, right? Yeah. Now we want to make a good SpongeBob movie. Let's just get a, a girl, a fucking middle-aged woman kissing a, a giant fish that would probably destroy the entirety of my and the room I'm in right now. Let's kiss it on the mouth. On the mouth, bro. That's another problem I have with this movie. This movie has zero. This movie has a very big lack of common sense. So she kisses the fish on the mouth. And then she yaps a little bit. And and then she says that she wants Spongebob. Because 
she doesn't have spongebob in her bikini bottom and she she thinks that spongebob is gonna be the final piece of her her great destiny and um she's the only um there are only like three major live action actors in this film sand um the two laid-back actors and this woman she's the one who tries the hardest out of the three because the the two henchmen i'd say they don't even want to it sounds like they don't even want to be there bro but uh yeah and i don't blame them if they don't want if they don't want to be there because i wouldn't want to be there either because i don't want to film myself working for this ugly headmistress kissing a big fish in a spongebob movie like you can't tell me that's not stupid, bro. Honestly, my guy, that is literally beyond stupid for me. Beyond stupid for me, yeah, bro. Anyways, um, anyways, as I say, after that, uh, I kind of got misled a little bit there. Uh, SpongeBob and Sandy get to know their family a little bit. Nothing much. And, uh, basically, they, they crash land into this... Oh, they go to the water park, right. Yeah, and then Spongebob tickles people's feet. Um, no bias, but this is the best scene in the entire film. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> okay, what the hell am I saying, bro? He tickles people's feet, and that's actually good? Oh, Wow. Look how I've been raised. I mean, what? No, I'm. I'm actually. I'm, I'm okay. No, that was a bad joke. I'm actually kidding about that. But yeah, basically, um, SpongeBob goes to tickle people's feet in a swimming pool, and he says these cringy lines called "tika tika tika tika." Like, bro, oh my god, this just makes him more annoying. And while Sandy is actually trying to concentrate, SpongeBob is over here. Tickling people's feet. I'll never get that out of my head again, bro. Honestly. That is now stuck with me, man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So, they find um, the headmistress. And um, then she explains her backstory. Easily the worst part in this entire So, I didn't really pay attention to the backstory. Because I was paying attention to something else. So, they put a green screen. They got a little kid. They got the Scarlet Headmistress. The villain, headmistress, head. They got her head, not uh, -uh not her body, her head. They slapped the head onto the child's body. Green screen behind. Action. That is the worst piece of media I have ever seen in my entire life it doesn't even um let me actually find the clip to show y'all hold up and i'll y'all y'all will see why it's just so dog shit Give me a minute, guys. I know this takes a while. Um. Oh, I can't find anything. You know what, damn. I never expect that. Um, I'll just say. So, the headmistress head gets slapped onto the child's body, right? And it looks like it's in a fucking YouTube poop. A YouTube poop. A YTP. 
I actually really like YTPs. I think they're very funny. But this genuinely looks like a YTP and never will I watch this film again. No, never. It looks like a YTP and, and then there's like a final battle. The headmistress turns into a fucking cyborg. She's been a robot this entire time. I know it's really weird. She's been lying about being human. She's been a robot this whole damn time. So she unravels herself. Only her head has remained human. And then this cringy ass fight scene. I don't even think this is classified as cringe. I mean, fight scene. She clones Spongebob. She wants to clone Spongebob to make a lot of them. And, um, and she dies. Bikini Bottom is leaking and the water's leaking out. And uh, Spongebob is kind of in pieces. Like the original Spongebob is gone. So, hear this, right? The gang, Sandy, Mr. Krabs, Squidward, and Patrick. The way they can bring Spongebob back get this right, is to smudge other mini Spongebobs together. They have to smudge them together. What? What? They have to... They're gonna... So they smudge together Spongebob and he comes back and then the movie ends. Tra -la -la. I actually, the movie ends with a fucking box arena fight scene with the in bikini bottom with Sandy Cheeks and her family. I think, I don't remember because I was on my phone because I wasn't attracted to this film at all. So yeah, that is the Sandy Cheeks movie to you. I... Hate this movie. This is probably the worst movie I've seen this year. Um. Yeah, no, this is just horrible. I mean, I don't know how they classified this as a fucking movie, but they did. And it's actually, it's on Netflix. It doesn't even deserve to be on Netflix. Hell, if it was in cinemas, that would have been a real problem, but. Thank God it's, it's not in cinemas and it's on Netflix, but it doesn't even deserve on Netflix. It deserves to be on Nickelodeon on a Saturday morning, but yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace off. Bye-bye.